how to create a easy nft website on wordpress hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can create a pretty easy website on wordpress so having said that let's just jump into the video so first things first to create a wordpress website or any website in general you're going to need a hosting all right a hosting provider that is going to host your website so in this video i'm going to be using namecheap hosting because they provide one of the you know cheapest hostings out there so as you can see over here they provide a dot-com domain only for 098 dollars which is pretty amazing so that's why i'm gonna come over here and i'm gonna search for it all right so first things first we're gonna go ahead and log in the sign up process is very easy you just click on sign up process and you just enter in your details your email address your name and you're good to go so i've already created an account i'm just simply gonna click on sign in and over here this is going to be your dashboard and over here you just simply have to you know search for a domain name that you want all right so first what we're gonna do is we want a wordpress hosting so we're just simply gonna hover our mouse over here at the top on wordpress hosting and click on manage wordpress hosting or you just simply come over here onto hosting and click on wordpress hosting this is much better so over here click on wordpress hosting it's going to take you over here where you can see all of their pricing plans so over here as you can see these are the pricing plans as uh you know mentioned over here and if you click on you know bill to monthly you get a free first month of you know free hosting whereas if you you know go with the yearly plan you can save up to a percentage of your price on the yearly plan so it all depends on you so i'm gonna switch to monthly over here and i'm gonna you know get the best plan over here which is easy wp supersonic and it's since it's already a giving me a free month i can go ahead and use it for a month and then i'm gonna and then i can you know cancel the Fee whenever i want so over here as you can see 30 days of free trial no commitment renew for 1388 per month by clicking on try for free so i'm just simply going to click on try for free and then it's going to take me over to the next part of the website where i'm just simply going to have to enter in a bunch of details meaning my credit card details and my payment details over here as you can see i'm going to choose the mastercard i'm going to click on confirm and then it wants me to name my you know website so over here you can just simply enter in the name of your website it depends on your you know cryptocurrency your nft collection so basically if you you just enter in the name of your nft collection over here so for example if it's you know crypto punk so you what you will do is just enter in crypto punks or you know if yours is board apes this is just an example but you know you get the point right now what i want to do is let's just enter in the name over here since it's a demo website i'm just simply going to enter in the demo name just like this and have a website for business these are basically optional but if you want to go ahead and do that it all depends on you so next just simply click on continue and then they're going to ask you if you want a free domain uh, if you choose the free domain then it's going to look something like this you know with this weird big name you don't want to get a free domain uh, you're going to want a you know your own domain all right so just simply you know include the domains for free dns over here or domain on other website providers it all depends on you so you click over here you just simply have to you know and if you want to choose your own domain then if you know you don't have any domains available over here then what you can do is you can go back to your you know home page your dashboard click on domains and over here you can search for your own domains all right so as you can see i searched for this domain and over here as you can see this domain is available for one dollars so i actually you know added it into my cart over here as you can see so i'm just simply going to go ahead and check out and i'm going to buy this domain all right as you can see over here if you want the ssl certifications uh, vpn or easy wp wordpress whatever then you can go ahead and add that to your list i mean it all depends on you but once everything is done just simply click on confirm order and then enter in all of these details and you are good to go and then once you've bought it once you come back to the website you will see you have your domain over here you click on it and just simply click on continue and then you just choose a wordpress theme for your website right so these are some of the free themes out there 22 one 22 or storefront it all depends on you you can skip this you know later but if you want you can go ahead and pick a theme i mean you can pick a different theme later on but for now i think we'll just stick with this one you know or this one actually you can go ahead and preview these themes as well so simply click on preview and then over here you can preview these themes so this is how it looks like so yeah i think it looks good we're gonna click on we're gonna use this and we're just simply gonna select the theme 
and then we're gonna uh, you know choose the plugins that we want all right so we have a bunch of different plugins that we can want so this is you know wordpress 101 we can learn everything about the wordpress in one minute design your wordpress by dragging and dropping with the easy visual you know website builder tool if you want that to we'll just simply we don't want any of these i mean you if you are gonna want a plugin then i would recommend yoast seo because it's one of the best seo optimization plugins out there it's gonna help you a lot if you you know learn how to use this so just choose the plugin that you want and then just simply click on continue and then finally you are good to go so over here this is going to be your you know domain you're going to have this subscription you're going to have this theme and this plugin and then just simply click on continue review all of the details and then just give it a couple of seconds for the website to be created and after that you are good to go so i'm going to go ahead and pause this video right here it's going to take about 10 minutes to do this i'll catch you guys in a second and then once you have your website you can go ahead and visit your website on this domain uh currently it's not active right now but it should be good to go so now what we're going to do is we're just simply going to go ahead and click on wp admin um, as you can see it's still not completely ready yet but it should be ready in a couple of minutes for now let's go ahead and click on manage and see how it looks like so over here as you can see wordpress over here 5.9 our storage is available over here this is the website we don't have a ssl certificate but we should be good to go i mean we I don't know why we don't have it so let's go ahead and add one we'll go ahead and click on change all right so i think my website is still not active as of yet so i'm just simply going to go ahead and let this run a little bit and wait for 10 minutes and i should be good to go okay for some reason whenever as this website is created right this was the one that i did but for some reason i can't seem to access this website whereas i created this other one when i click over here i can quickly you know go ahead and access this one but i can't access that one which is so weird i don't know why that is happening uh but anyway i'm sure that there's some technical fault over here but regardless let's move on to the next step next step what you want to do is you want to reset the password all right your username or your password so enter in the username that you created over here so it can be this one right here your username i just enter in my email address it'll send a confirmation link to your email address where you can go ahead and start you know change your password and then once you come over here this is going to be your dashboard right this is going to be your website and over here what you're going to do is you're going to go into the plugin section over here and all right let's just activate these two plugins that we have over here so we'll deal with that later but we need to download and add new you know plugins such as lamentor over here this is a website builder tool that we're going to be needing so we're going to go ahead and install that once it's installed just simply activate it or you can let it go and then you can activate it later next what we need is we want starter templates and here we go this is it starter templates or you can just simply search for astra this will pop up as well by brainstorm force all right keep that remember that once it's installed just simply click on activate to activate the plugin all right activate the other ones as well and once you're good done that you are good to go now you will see over here you have the templates option of over here what you want to do is you want to click on come over here on appearance and over here you will have a bunch of different themes what you want to do is you want to click on starter templates and over here just simply click on build your website choose elementor over here and over here you will see you have a bunch of different you know templates to choose from so over here just search for a blog type of website or an e-commerce store or whichever store you want which you can easily you know go ahead and start editing out later and once you do that you are good to go so actually let's go ahead and find like a real estate type of website i think we can go ahead and edit that out later we can just simply go with the popular ones and click on all templates and search for a template that we like i like this website right here because it's pretty simple all right uh, you can add a background over here you can add a bunch of different nfts tell them about your nft collection right here and you are good to go so over here just upload your logo or whatever and just simply click on continue and you're good to go and then just simply choose the color of your overall website i'm going to click with blue you can also change the fonts over here like click on different fonts to view them uh, i like montserrat so we're going to continue with montserrat and then just simply click on continue and just enter in your first name your work email i am this i am that and just agree to their terms and services and click on submit and build my website 
boom here we go you've created your website now just simply click on view your website to actually go ahead and view it and this is how it looks like so now you can go ahead and edit this website with elementor so I'll click on edit with elementor over here at the top it's going to load up the website editor over here so as you can see this is how it looks like so it's really simple to edit over here on the left side you have your editing tools and over here on the right side you have your navigation tools as well so let me just put that over there now what if you wanted to you know change the background you could just simply click over here or just simply click on edit section over here at the top come over here to the left side click on style and change the background over here you can add in your the name of your nft collection over here you can delete these over here or you can change these up and link them to whatever you want then down here you can add a little bit of preview like some rare nfts over here then you can tell them about your nft collection over here then you can add like a call to action button over here like go ahead and mint your nfts by clicking on this button and then you can add the entire nft collection at the bottom and then you are good to go so pretty much that's basically it that's how you edit the website like um i'm pretty sure the video is quite long at this point so just simply gonna go ahead and you know shut this out uh it's really simple like i said all the options are gonna be in front of you you can hover your mouse over any section and that section will be highlighted and you can edit that section to your liking so that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that thank you guys for watching and until next time take care and goodbye